still waiting for, well, for Deadbeat to grab that red armor. He does get the grab, though, but the damage is going to be done by Inane. Four health left for him, and so Inane is going to really have to run here, and I, again, I just enjoy the fact that even after a frag, the top player might really just have to go on the defensive right after that. There's no just wailing on a player again and again and again because you're the big guy on stack, eventually uh, you will be worn down and just through the damage levels in this, in this game, that can happen quite often. So four on one, uh, Deadbeat is going to be eating a lot of rockets there and the last little prediction rocket, uh, Deadbeat is going to be waltzing right into it. Five on one now. And so Inane has sl slowed things down a little bit here. Yellow Armor will be coming back up. Deadbeat's going to be getting the grab. Inane missing that rail, but oh, actually Deadbeat did not get the grab for the yellow, yellow Armor. Mega Health will be coming up in about 20 seconds here. And Deadbeat will be, oh, rocket jump right off the face. Inane's going to be getting a lot of damage done, but he's taking quite a bit himself, but it looks like Inane is going to try to seal the deal, finish this one off, but Red Armor is going to be the place where that fight's going to happen. Deadbeat, oh, rocket to rail, followed up by a second rail. Deadbeat is going to be leaving that fight with his tail between his legs, and he's going to be walking funny for a little while after that, but that being said, he's managed not to come through the teleporter and eat a whole lot of damage from Inane, so... Deadbeat finally did go down there, but he did manage to get a little bit more damage off on Inane in the process there. So, there's going to be a mutual f suicide. How come I see that more in Warsaw more than anything else? I mean, I I'm used to seeing, like, frag suicides. I'm used to seeing, like, mutual frags, but mutual suicides? That's that's a little bit more bizarre. So, still 5-on-1, a 4-4 four -four at game here. Just a little more than four f minutes left to go. Inane grabbing Mega Health. Alright, apparently my boss has my keys, so sorry about that pause there a little bit. But, as you can see, Red Armor is still highly in control by a name. But here's the nice thing I'm seeing from Deadbeat. Uh, Deadbeat has been able to come through there and manage to do a lot of damage to Inane while in the process of him doing that. So now Inane is uh, hurting quite a bit here. He's going to have to duck and weave here, but Deadbeat is just facing him up right around every corner, but here's the difference. Mega Health is going to take all that hard work right away from Deadbeat. Inane now going on the offensive, but Inane almost rocking into some defensive rockets there. But Deadbeat, with his bloodlust, uh, that red film has covered up his eyes for the timing there a little bit, and Inane has gotten right back on the board, right back in control, and now all that hard work that Deadbeat did uh, is going to be all for naught here. Deadbeat's going to be grabbing yellow armor and trying to GTFO. Five on two here still, three frag game, and I'm loving every second of it. Right out of the teleporter, Inane's going to be trying to do the damage, but things got a little awkward there, and Deadbeat was able to give as much as he took. Red armor's going to be the finisher. Oh! Ducking and weaving right between those pancakes of death. Inane didn't take a lick of damage and with that rocket just shut down Deadbeat there. So Mega Health is going to be back up in a, about a second. Inane's going to be right on top of it. Deadbeat is going to be, well, looking onward and going, oh, Mega Health, shit. Deadbeat's going to try to seal things off with the rails, uh, but that was a clean red armor grab for Inane, and Inane didn't take anything coming out of the teleporter, so Deadbeat is still really on the defensive here. Yellow armor is going to be something he wants, but Inane's going to want to have control of that too. He's pretty much baiting out the yellow armor right now, so Deadbeat really has to keep on his toes, and he has to be really careful here not to just eat shit and die when he goes for the yellow, if he goes for the yellow. And actually, he was going to be waiting that out. It, Inane actually got faked out a little bit there. Deadbeat took a lot of damage there, but that was a loss of a red armor from, on Inane's part. But the amount of damage done, yeah, Deadbeat's not going to be looking so hot there. But th the effect of that was, that means that Inane is not the high stack on the map anymore. He will be fairly soon here if he goes for the mega health, but uh, for the time so being... The time so being, uh, the damage between the two is going to be fairly even here. But Deadbeat being down below, getting shoved right into the wall. And that's going to be another frag for Inane. And right off the spawn here, 
Well, Inane's going to be running out of rockets, running out of health, running out of armor here, but he's okay with that. Mega's his, and the timing is such that red armor is also going to be his. Perfect timing there, beautiful shot, and now Inane has a really good stronghold on the map. Debbie's just going to be trying to do some ninja damage here, and actually, holy crap, those rockets... Inane was just herpaderping that entire fight. So now, Deadbeat back on the board, 7-3, to three, 3 minutes and 20 seconds left to go. Things are entirely doable by Deadbeat here, but item stack is going to be really vital. Red Armor Mega Health coming up nearly at the same time, but Inane's going to try to make the fight happen on Mega Health. His timing was a little off, so instead of dropping right down on top of it... Oh! Nice, nice work by Deadbeat. Almost failing the jump over to the Red Armor, but a nice little rocket hop gave him the final extra nudge. And more important than Deadbeat having a stack here is the fact that Inane will not be having a stack other than that yellow armor. So initial damage is going to be done by Deadbeat. Inane is down there, but Inane is going to be getting away. And so Deadbeat really needs to chase intelligently here. He needs to be careful with the way he operates going about this because otherwise, yeah, just like before, he's going to lose timing and he's going to lose the opportunity to seal the deal, make the damage done, and get the frag in. Yellow Armor, Mega, both still up. So things, again, Deadbeat could pull this one off. But I'm seeing a problem here where he's looking for a name more often than not instead of just still playing the map fairly st straight and having a name come to him. So Deadbeat just needs to find a way to put the pressure on. And that comes down to teleporter knowledge. That comes down to being able to know the roots carefully enough to be able to cut off your opponent. And I'm wondering if Deadbeat just doesn't have that level of experience with this map as of yet. That is the key difference I'm seeing here. So, with three frags to go and just under two minutes, uh, Inane is probably going to be turtling this up. We might not even see him show up to some of the items here. And now, yeah, Deadbeat down on the bottom did not manage to get away the way Inane did. So Inane now eight, up eight on four. A wider difference here, and we could see this thing, you know, either widen or dissolve as the final minute counts down, but either way, I don't think Inane is going to be threatened too much off of his crown. Though, so there it is, Deadbeat going down 9 on 4, that seemed to be the final word there. We could be seeing a few more extra frags just for shits and giggles, but Inane will be taking Acid WDM2 solidly. But really, the opportunity, what, ooh, ouch. My brain hurts! But, uh, the opportunities were there for Inane to be taken down by Deadbeat, but the route just needed to... the route knowledge just wasn't quite there by Deadbeat, and he wasn't able to punish quite the way he needed to. So hopefully, you know, in the next week or so, he'll be playing this map a little bit more, so in situations like that, he's gonna be able to, uh, <laughs> shoot himself in the water. He's gonna be able to just chase down a weakened opponent, especially one like Inane, who can move across the map fairly quickly and uh, keep timing on the items. So, final 15 seconds, and I think Deadbeat has given up the ghost here, so he's just going to be goofing off a little bit, but, ooh, nice little air curb stomp there. <laughs> so take it away, Marcus, as we see this wind on Three, down. Two, one. Game over. There we have it, GG, 16 on 5. And a lot of those frags were done just in the last few minutes. And it looks like next up will be... Sanctify? Well, not Sanctify, but Addy. The... As in... Aid as in you have AIDS. So we got Inane, and the killer will be kicked out. Get in line, bro.